I'm Micah JL reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing Raising Dion Season 2. After a two-year hiatus, Raising Dion Season 2 is finally here. Fans have been waiting to see what's happening with Dion and his family and friends after their lives were turned upside down. Dion's powers have proved to be a blessing and a curse, but can these powers help Dion fight evil when everything he's ever known is on the line? The second season of Raising Dion comes two years after Dion, played by Josiah Young, defeated Pat, Jason Ritter, with, and the Crooked Man with the help of his mom, Nicole, Alicia Warren, and his friends Esperanza, Sammy Haney, and Jonathan, Gavin Munn. Dion is continuing to learn how to control his powers with the help of Biona and his new trainer, Tevin, played by Rome Flynn. When a new kid, Brayden, played by Griffin Faulkner, who Dion learns is also power, comes to school, his life becomes unstable as he realizes danger is still lingering. In this new season, I really like the involvement of Dion's friends, Esperanza and Jonathan. It gives Dion more of a support system and it also gives more depth to his character as he has to balance being a normal kid and being power. The Triangle of Power, what the three call themselves, gives Dion the opportunity to do what he needs to do to save his family, friends, and city because he doesn't have to do it alone anymore. Another beneficial addition to the season is Tevin, Dion's new trainer. Tevin is also powered, and because of that, he'll have a closer bond to Dion. It also gives Dion someone trustworthy to look up to and someone to protect him. The introduction of Tevin also adds another storyline for Nicole, which fans will enjoy. Brayden's character brings another element of suspense, being young and a kid, which makes him an easy target for the dark energy, and it allows him to get closer to Dion. So what really makes this season special and really good are the storylines and the addition of new characters. They all fit and complement each other, and that makes the audience want more. The message of season two of Raising Dion is to always follow your instincts. When Brayden is trying to convince Dion to do some questionable things, Dion always has second thoughts. And the characters in the show have a really out of the ordinary life, surrounded by different threats. So when they feel something is off, going with that gut feeling is essential. For the most part, Raising Dion Season 2 is kid friendly with minor inappropriate language and fighting scenes. Raising Dion is everything I hoped it would be and more. Who knows what's to come for Dion and his friends, along with his powers, as they mature. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I rate Raising Dion Season 2 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 11 to 18 plus adults. Season 2 of the series can be found February 1st, 2021 on Netflix. So make sure you check it out. I'm Micah J.L. reporting for Kids First, and that's how I see it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next review. See you next time!